Welcome back to Chow Town Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from MVN Kine. Female pilot drives off the runway after airline brags about 80% diversity. Please like subscribe below. I really appreciate that. Ask you that, Chow. It's Chow Town. United Airlines is out with a plan pushing diversity for new pilots. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. You know that. I hope you do. The company wants to train 5,000 of them over the next decade and is promising at least half will be women or people of color. United would also be taking on applicants with no flying experience. Oh dear, we are in trouble. Just then, by sheer coincidence. Engine sitting down on the ground, buddy. Oh, I thought it was for like flight testing or something. I didn't realize it was an actual flight with passengers. What the hell? Please carefully, one row at a time. Thank you, man. Yeah, y'all went up the road. Ha! Glad y'all are here with us. <laughs> And look at the back of the plane, man. University hire, so no, no pilot experience, huh? Wow. 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 United Airlines pushing diversity, equity, and inclusion. What could possibly go wrong? United flight goes off runway. Uh, did you try hiring more diversity? <laughs> Better luck fucking next time. Traffic's going this way. The traffic stopped. Traffic, she comes out. Instead of just turning right and going on her way, she comes and just crashes into this car. And I sat there and I thought, how are women allowed to drive? Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. I mean, <laughs> you're not true. wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good <laughs> law. It's clear we can only have male pilots from now on. It is the only way to verify that your pilot was actually qualified. This is a screen grab that I took from United Airlines Pilot Academy. And what they are bragging about here is how 80% of their graduating class last January was female or people of color. That doesn't even make sense, really. 80%. It really doesn't. Statistically, the only way you could get a number like that is through discrimination and lowering standards. Yes, I mean, there were arguments for this long before. I know how I parallel park. I see how my girlfriends drive. Yeah, no shit, honey! It's in my opinion, we've got a lot to worry about here. She knows. It's getting, it's, I'm scared. What the fuck are we doing here, man? Like, look, I'm all for inclusion, honestly. But this forced inclusion shit is just out of control. It's not the way, man. It just seems like a lot of these companies are trying to go back in time to try and right the wrongs of the past. And look, in my opinion, the proper way to implement inclusion is just to eliminate exclusion, right? Not exclude anybody on the basis of, of race or gender, whatever the fuck it is. Agreed. Make sure everyone has the same opportunity from the ground level up, right? And it, look, it's not like I think that, that women should not be pilots in general. Not at all. Like, I know there are very capable women out there. There are female pi fighter pilots, all that shit. Great. More power to you. But those women didn't get there because they're women. They got there because they beat out people with lesser ability. And that simple dynamic seems to be changing for this fucking stupidity. Like, don't be surprised if next year's Super Bowl, the most diverse team wins. And look, let's keep this fucking 100. Women in general, as a gender, they are not known as the ones who make the rational, logical choices, the, the calm under pressure decisions. They react emotionally, they're the emotional thinkers. Like that, that's not a myth, that's not a stereotype, that's a fact that we all know, right? And if that's the case, do we really want, especially in a field like airline pilot where people's lives are in your fucking hands, do we really want to be lowering the standards to zero in order to get women in and make the fact that you're female take priority over ability? Like, how does this make sense to anybody? It's crazy that it used to be we would rarely even hear about any crashes or accidents when it comes to planes. Hardly ever. 9-11 doesn't count. Now, it is kind of in the news every year about some plane going down, something happening with planes. Something's going on. Either... Boeing is making shitty planes and or plus we're hiring shittier pilots.
don't make decisions based on emotional moments. I'm a very non-dramatic, chill, quiet human being. Hmm? <laughs> Did y'all also know that I'm seven feet tall and I am black? <laughs> I bet you didn't know that, did you? People need to understand that approaching these creatures is very dangerous. Uh, you know that, that when you see careful. one, you want to hug them, give them kisses. But the fact is that they can really hurt you. Now, this other guy right here, a bear, no problem there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Real women drive their own trucks. <laughs> Makes sense? No, not even bad. Okay, you're in this lane. You wanna, you wanna keep what lane? lane? You want to keep in this lane, this lane right here. Okay, I thought you were talking about the bicycle. Oh. Okay. Stop, oh stop, stop. I got you, I got you. Go, oh, Jesse! With all due respect, what the fuck? You blew it! Oh my. So what was the thought process here? I would have blown a freaking gasket. I would have been like him. Why? I would have been like, you dumb fucking fuck. Like, don't listen to anyone's advice. Scream. Wait until the very last minute to make any decision and then wonder how it all went wrong. Like, I don't know about you guys, but she seems like a really good candidate to be flying hundreds of people in a tin can miles above the earth. Like, it's a good thing that United Airlines lowered their entrance standards to zero because, look, I don't I think she's ready. Like, it's time to sign up for that pilot program. Oh, that sounds about right. That's exactly what I usually think when I have a headache. I'm like, I'm probably dehydrated. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> oh, I can't drive. <laughs> Women. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Brilliant. Now look, I'm not trying to say that all men are better drivers than all women, obviously, but, but there is empirical evidence that shows that men are the more logical thinkers, they're better problem solvers, and they score higher in spatial awareness. And these are all things that would make an airline pilot and reaction time a better fucking airline pilot. So if we're going to force include any gender, don't we want to force include the gender that better fits the fucking profile? Like, call me crazy. And look, if you don't buy into all that shit, here's just another little example of women and their logic, their their grasp on spatial awareness, and their calm under pressure decision making skills. Check it out. Look, now, this is just reason, basic tic tac toe with a little basketball. No I mean, simple enough idea. What could go wrong? Oh, <coughs> um, uh, I will shut my bitch ass up now. Um, well, we're not off to the, the best start here, but okay, here we go. On our game board will be our winner. Nobody right, chooses the middle one. square in tic-tac-toe first, but Grace. okay. At least we're moving. We're getting baskets. Here we All go. Right, Morgan makes her second layup. Grace makes her second layup. All right, okay. all right. Oh, and womp, womp. Oh, Why oh, would you put it oh, there? Grace. Okay. All right, layup. first one's free. There's Gotta a little pressure. We're making attention. baskets. Grace. Let's go. Second try. Go kick, and no, womp, no, womp. You're just a woman with a small brain. <laughs> Grace, she already put that spot. Gotta change Gotta it up. Find a spot that's <laughs> oh, no. Eh, good thing we changed. Oh, eh, no. wah, wah. <laughs> okay, I'm very confused by what's going on here. Oh, no. Good lord, man. I'm not sure what's All right. happening here. All right. <laughs> Instead of winning, you're gonna fucking try to block her. This is how maniacal women are. They don't care about the actual win. No, they want to just block the other person from winning. And they don't even realize that they're going to win. They can have a possibility of winning. Oh, my God. Game's not over. Here we go. Third oh, time's a charm. Just an empty an place. Spot. Empty square. Any empty Find square. An and wah, wah. Oh, my God. Two. Nailed it. Look, just think, women just like this could be on the fast track to becoming your next airline pilot. I mean, thank God for inclusion.
Bragging rights at work. The average woman burns over 14,000 calories a year doing this. Okay, what is it? Let's hit the hotline. Hey, our country, what do you think it is? Uh, is it complaining? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, explain yourself. <laughs> well, you know. I don't know. It's science. How the feminist <laughs> thinks it's going to happen. Stupid little girl. Marvel movies from Hollywood versus what actually happens. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Why would she attack me? I don't know, buddy. You're a victim. <laughs> Bro, what the haberdasher? I mean, it's one thing that, that one man was able to over, overpower two police officers, two female police officers. He just, it's like, skipped away. One of them, like, skipped after him, ran all dainty with the arms out to the side, and the other one literally walked. Like, what the fuck are we doing here? Clearly, another DEI success story. <laughs> Equal rights for all. Yay! Asking the server for her number. What's your number? I'm sorry, I have a boyfriend. Here, wash the dishes. Then. <laughs> now that's fucked up. Call a business owned by a bride and ask to speak to the man in charge. Be a man. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Just a quick reminder before you go if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. Hey! Are we best friends? Yeah, and we have wieners. And we both have wieners? Yeah. Is that why we're best friends? Yeah. Perfect. Hell yes. We're here to fuck shit up. I ain't trying to say the right answer. I am just doing. There is no ifs, woulds, coulds, shoulds. It just is. And we just are. Shout out to MVN Kind. Yeah, I would probably question uh, my flight going to you know asia if there was a woman pilot too please like, subscribe down below i really appreciate it <laughs>